dear students welcome to my channel main topic of this video is segmentation and sub topic is age detection operator based on the first order derivative which calculate whether the age is present or not in this video ordinary robert previtt and sobel operators are explained now let us start so first is gradient operator or first order derivative operator or gradient mask now we consider the 3 by 3 3 by 3 neighborhood area with z5 as a point in consideration so this is nothing but the 3 by 3 area of the image and z1 to z9 are nothing but the gray level value as our image is two dimensional function so this is the uh, across y and this is the x now this is x minus 1 x x plus 1 y minus 1 y y plus 1 the z5 z5 point is into the consideration and whose values are x and y now when we take the first order derivative then we are taking the difference between the neighbors value so here as image is in x and y direction that is two directions are there so we require to take the difference horizontally as well as vertically to find out the gradient now in my previous video we i have already explained this partial order derivative or you we are using to calculate or detection of the age now this is nothing but dab by f by dab by x so when we calculate dab by dab by dab by x so here y is constant and we are taking the immediate difference that is adjacent difference so that's why f of x plus 1 comma y minus f of x y and here our y is constant and when we are taking the partial derivative with respect to y then it is f of x y plus 1 minus f of x y so here x is constant and there is we are taking the difference between y and y plus 1 so it is not necessary that we should take the difference between x and x plus 1 but we can take the difference between x and x minus 1 and y and minus 1 so instead of this particular area we can consider the this area now here the this area is considered so dab by by dab by x is if we take this then it is z5 minus z uh, z8 minus z5 because this is nothing but the y and x plus 1 so z8 minus z5 and for dab by by dab by y we are getting z6 minus z5 now if we uh, you just imagine that if we are taking the difference like this then in this way we are actually finding out the horizontal edge and when we are taking the difference between this this that is like this then we are finding out the vertical edge in an image so after calculating the partial order derivative we can take the magnitude so magnitude of first order derivative is nothing but the uh, dab by dab by dab x square plus dab by by dab x square and their square root but for simplicity we are skipping this square root and we is and square also we are taking just absolute value so either we can take z5 minus z8 or z uh, z8 minus z5 or z5 minus z8 but as we are taking the absolute difference so we can follow in any order so this particular find out the x gradient and which find out so horizontal edge in image and this is nothing but the y gradient which find out the vertical edge in an image now here this particular points are considered so i have already explained that we can take this region also or we can take this region also so to this particular region is considered so when we are taking the x gradient so at that time we are considering z5 and z8 and z6 is not covered so it is zero so here we can keep 1 and minus 1 because as we have to design the mask so some of the coefficient should be zero because it is the edge is again the high frequency signal so here 1 and minus 1 but here we can keep the minus 1 also minus 1 1 and for y gradient which calculates the vertical edge in an image we are taking this z5 z6 because your x is constant and y is changing so 1 minus 1 and this point is not considered that's why it is zero so if we take the sum of the coefficient again it is zero and it is nothing but the y gradient and which find outs the or which detects the vertical edge in an image when we want to find out both uh, edges that is horizontal as well as vertical we can easily add this two uh, mask that is x gradient and y gradient so 1 plus 1 is 2 0 plus minus 1 is minus 1 and minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1 so this is nothing but the mask now here we are getting this mask for 2 by 2 sides so this is 2 minus 1 minus 1 0 when we add the coefficient the sum is 0 so this is nothing but the basic characteristics of the high frequency mask that is sum of the coefficient should be zero so this is satisfied here so this is the first order difference gradient mask and this can be implemented using the two mask 
if when we want to find out the edges in particular direction so this is for horizontal and this is for vertical this is known as ordinary operator now here this under uh, one the dash is there it indicates the center of the mask so for example this is 5 by 5 image and we have to apply the mask for this image so we will keep for example uh, now here we are skipping the border pixel so pin pixel into consideration are this so we are putting this mask at this location so we multiply by 100 by 1 then 67 by 0 34 by minus 1 and 56 by 0 and whatever the result come we are putting instead of the 100 pixel in the modified image so in this way we are applying this mask on this image and this is nothing but the center of the that is the coincidence point for example when we want to find out the uh, response of the mask at this location we will keep this point here that is we will overlap from this point and this point and we find out the particular response so we can do the two things for example we can do convolve the original image with mask one and this uh, this gives us the gradient along x direction that is the horizontal edges in an image convolve the original image with mask two this gives us the vertical edges in an image uh, if we want to find out the both edges then we can first ask uh, first add the mask and then we can apply on the image the result is same that is we can see the effect of each mask separately and uh, that is uh, if uh, that is it's all depend on you that is whether we want to find out the edges separately or simultaneously so when we want to find out simultaneously we are applying this mask and when to when we want to find out the edges separately we apply this mask on an image now second mask is a robert mask so robert uh, researcher found that that instead of straight difference if we take the cross difference the result in an image uh, for edge detections are good so instead of z5 z8 and z5 z6 we are taking now the cross difference that is z5 z9 and z6 z8 so when we take this difference so this become 1 and this become minus 1 0 0 and for this this become 1 and this become minus 1 and 0 0 so in this way the ordinary operator is modified by the robot by taking the cross difference instead of the straight difference so this is the mask 1 and mask 2 when we add these two masks we are getting this uh, mask and if we take the sum of the coefficient it is again 0 so this is nothing but the center of the mask so when we want to modify the 100 pixel so we are uh, overlapping this particular area on this particular 4 pixels so what are the drawbacks of the robot mask so basically first order gradient operator that is ordinary operator and robot operator both are of size 2 by 2 and when we take the 2 by 2 we are not covering the complete neighbors of that particular pixel that is a basic drawback so robot mask is of even size 2 by 2 and even size masks are awkward to implement because of the the edge value and they are not taking the proper all portions of the image into the consideration for edge it will incline to particular direction and the problem can be avoided using the 2 by 2 mask so that's why we are not going for uh, ordinary operator and robot but we are going for the mask which is of 3 by 3 uh, or odd size mask now third is a private operator it assigns similar weight to all the neighbors of the candidate pixel value whose edge strength is to be calculated so here this is nothing but the pixel into the consideration now uh, here uh, x gradient and y gradient so privit is not calculating immediately the difference between the neighboring pixel but it is calculating between z7 z8 z9 and z1 z2 z3 so instead of immediate neighbors it is taking difference between x minus 1 and x plus 1 and here for the y gradient it will take the difference between the y minus 1 and y plus 1 so it calculates the gradient like this z7 plus z8 plus z9 that is this and minus z1 plus z2 plus z3 as we are taking the absolute difference so either we can take this minus this or this minus this the answer is same and for y gradient so in this way it calculates the horizontal edges and when it calculate like this it will calculate the uh, or detect the vertical edges in an image so for the y gradient it is the difference between the z6 z3 z6 z9 and z1 z4 z7 so this is nothing but the vertical and this is nothing but the horizontal 
so private operator is better because it is three uh, it is a <coughs> odd size mask and odd size masks are always good to implement because it will take all the neighbors into the consideration while detecting the edges in an image so we can add the mask in both direction if we want to find out the edges in vertical direction as well as horizontal direction so when we add these two masks we are getting the summation and this is nothing but the center point of the mask and if we see that sum of the coefficient is again zero now why previt operator is best for edge segmentation because edge is nothing but the high frequency signal and noise is again high frequency signal so when we are detecting the edges we are calculating the first order derivative so first order derivative is uh, uh, always gives the magnitude or strength whenever there is a change or abrupt change is there so abrupt change is in two cases when edge is there and when noise is there so when it detecting the edges at the same time it is uh, enhance that is when it enhance the edges or when it locates the edges and at that time if noise is present in an image it will enhance the noise so that problem is there in the edge detection but when we use a privit operator so this is a privit operator in the x gradient and we can uh, split this matrix into these parts and when we split we can find out that this is the combination of high pass as well as low pass so this is nothing but low pass averaging mask and this is the high pass uh, that is high frequency or sharpening mask so that's why and in this another direction we can get similar so what is the best features of the privit operator is that it gives a smoothing effect as well as edge enhancement operation fourth operator is sobel operator so uh, only difference between the sobel and privit is that privit uh, sobel has given more importance to the immediate neighbor so this point into the consideration so its immediate neighbors are this and this so it gives more weightage to the immediate neighbors so this is nothing but the x gradient that is z7 plus 2z8 z9 and z1 plus 2z3 and uh, z plus 2z2 and z3 and this is nothing but the y gradient so x gradient finds the horizontal edges and y gradient finds the vertical edges when we want to find out the edges in both direction we can just add this to mask so this is only the difference between the privit and sobel operator again sobel operator is based for edge segmentation because it smooth the image as well as it enhance the operation so when it smooths the image at that time if noise is present in an image it will just make the noise at a lower level that is it try to remove that noise or smoothen that noise so that's why we are getting the same effect even the noise is present in an image that gets smoothen and when if edge is present the edge get enhanced so this is nothing but the advantage of sobel operator with same with the privit operator so when we split the sobel operator we can find out that it is again combination of the low frequency and high frequency that's why it giving the two results in a image that is smoothing as well as edge enhancement operation advantages of derivative filter especially sobel and privit provide the smoothing effect along with the edge direction drawbacks of uh, derivative operator are they are sensitive to noise as noise is high frequency component so when we are enhancing the edges if noise is present it will enhance the noise also derivative filters highlights the high frequency that is noise so this is the basic so that's why when we want to enhance the edges in an image so it is very much important to smoothen that noise otherwise the entire image gets corrupted so this is nothing but all about the first order derivative operator for edge detection in vertical as well as horizontal direction thank you